everyone. A lot to get to tonight. We're going to start with the news that's gripping the nation today. 21 people dead after a shooting at a Texas elementary school yesterday. We now know the 18-year-old who opened fire in a Texas elementary school barricaded himself in a single classroom to carry out one of the worst school shootings in U.S. history, leaving a community in a state of shock and devastation. 19 children, two teachers. We have team coverage on this for you tonight. Amel Elhel spoke to local law enforcement about how they're increasing school safety. Christian Garzon checked in with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office who gave us some advice on what you can do if you ever find yourself in an active shooter situation. But first, the latest details out of Uvalde, Texas. Aaron Jones joins us with the latest. Investigators swarm the streets around Uvalde's Robb Elementary School, the site of the nation's latest heartbreak. It is intolerable and it is unacceptable for us to have in the state anybody who would kill little kids in our schools. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says 18-year-old Salvador Ramos posted on Facebook before shooting his grandmother and then barging into a fourth grade classroom with an AR-15 assault rifle. Police say that's where he killed 19 children and two teachers. The shooter was able to make entry into a classroom, barricaded himself, and at that point, it just started shooting children and teachers that were inside that classroom, having no regard for human life, just a complete tragedy. After confronting and killing the shooter, police went to his home and found his grandmother clinging to life. A neighbor says the shooter moved in with his grandparents because of troubles at home and describe him as quiet and hard to talk to. His motive, unknown. As the FBI went door to door speaking to neighbors, investigators revealed the suspect had legally purchased two rifles soon after turning 18. There has been no criminal history identified yet. He may have had a juvenile record, but that is yet to be determined. There was no known mental health history. After an agonizing wait for information, all families have now been notified of their loss, including relatives of 10-year-old Eliana Garcia. She was very sweet. President Biden, after pleading for new gun restrictions, will visit Uvalde as soon as this weekend, hoping to bring comfort to the heartbroken. Aaron Jones, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas. Two law enforcement officials tell CBS News the gunman got into a fight with his grandmother yesterday morning before shooting her, taking her car and carrying out the massacre. This morning, many parents had that strange feeling as they prepared their kids for school following the deadly shooting in Texas. Today, school districts across the county are reevaluating their security measures. Amel Elhel joins us now live from Rush Henrietta with more. Amel. That's right, Teresa. Yesterday's seat in Uvalde, Texas was all too familiar as this is the 27th school shooting to happen this year alone. Today, calls across the country ringing out for stricter gun laws and local school districts are taking a look at their security measures in case what happened in Texas were to happen here. At least 21 people are dead following a school shooting in Texas yesterday. Now local school districts are remembering to prepare for the worst. The notion that it can happen anywhere and at any time. And so it's important for us to always be alert and vigilant. Today, Rochester police have an increased presence at Rochester City Schools, something the district says is there whenever they need it, especially since RCSD no longer has school resource officers in place. We do have a strong relationship with the Rochester Police Department and the city of Rochester, so they were there for us this morning. They will be with us this afternoon and any time that we call them. Both Livingston County and Monroe County Sheriff's Departments also have increased presence in their county school districts. There's an increased presence there. There's a higher alert, uh, but there's not too much of a change to what we always do. It's always a priority for us to take care of our children. We're lucky here because we have the school resource deputies uh, assigned to the, the public schools here in the county and the uh, local police departments also have uh, police officers assigned to their schools. So I think the preventative part of it is there every day. And today, president of the Monroe County Council of School Superintendents, Bo Wright, says districts across the county are taking the day as it comes, knowing students, parents, and staff are on edge. Assuring parents that, that we uh, are taking every precaution to ensure safety, um, letting them know also the availability of resources here at school, 
so that if children are struggling to try and process these, these events, to, uh, we have resources to support that. As you heard at the top of the hour, Bo Wright said that all Monroe County school campuses will have an added police presence until the end of the school year. For now, we're live in Rush Henrietta, Amal Al Hal, News 8. Amel, thank you. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says there are currently no active shooter threats in our area, but urge those in schools and work centers to plan for these types of instances. Christian Garzone joins us now with more on the advice they're giving Christian. Well, Teresa, on average, a mass shooting takes place in a five-minute window. The Sheriff's Office is asking everyone to have a plan in place and to rehearse it all under incredible stress to make it as real-world as possible. It boils down to three things. Run, hide, and fight. With run during an active shooter situation, you have to be familiar with your location and exits. If you can, move away from the building and call 911. If you have to hide, are you hiding in a place that has a window you can get out of? Also, do you have cover? Do you have concealment? Can you barricade a door? Are you physically able to do something like that? If you can't think and do these things ahead of time, it could spell trouble if, God forbid, one of these shootings happens. Lieutenant Mike Wick says, think about these things and plan now. I'll say this, the preparation needs to happen before beforehand that is I can't stress that enough that's what is most important so you already have a plan so you just you just engage that plan uh, because seconds are vastly important in incidents that the average time is five minutes Wick says they have a saying your body will not go where your mind hasn't already been in short prepare in the newsroom, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, Teresa, right back to you. Thank you, Christian. It's advice we don't want, but we definitely need. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office has a training video on its website with greater detail. It's called Active Threat Information.